All right, welcome everybody. It's KB here and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys a new version of files application files 2.0 and it's the best alternative to Windows File Explorer. For some reason, if you don't like Windows File Explorer and you're looking for the best choice, best option, then this is the one files 2.0 and you can get it from the Microsoft Store and I will also put a link in the description for this. You can also get it from GitHub page. There are many ways to get it. Okay, so now let's get into the comparison of files 2.0 and the default Windows File Explorer. So this is to the right, we have the Windows File Explorer and to the left, we have the files 2.0. Yeah, before the version two files app was okay, but now with version two, it looks much better. All right, this is the default look of files application and this is the look of our Windows File Explorer and they look very identical which is a good thing. They are not trying to make everything complicated. They are trying to make uh, everything look closer to the default Windows File Explorer with some features. You know, the biggest feature in files application is the new tab. So you can have new tabs, as many as you want, just like a browser. This is the one of the biggest feature that we need in Windows File Explorer, that is, not coming. I don't know why, but it should be a feature in Windows. And uh, now let's just talk about the look. I think the files application looks very good because it has the transparency going on. Okay, you can see it's in dark theme, but there is a subtle transparency. And look at our File Explorer, Windows File Explorer. It has solid color. You know, files application has settings within the files application and everything is consistent. But with the Windows File Explorer, it's not consistent. The design and everything, you know, it's not consistent. So that's that. So let's just not talk about the Windows File Explorer. Let's just cut it away and let's just talk about this. Okay, so first, as I told you, the biggest feature is the new tab feature. Okay, you can open multiple tabs with different folders, files and all that. Okay, very cool. I like these. Okay, this is the biggest reason why we want to use this. And uh, uh, you will also find almost every settings familiar. Uh, let's say I want to go to the downloads folder. At the top, you can see we have the options just like we have in default Windows File Explorer. So uh, if I go to the downloads, you can see I have the options that is also available in default Windows File Explorer. So it's very identical, actually almost the copy of Windows File Explorer, but better. Yeah, but better. Consistent design, uh, needed features like new tab. And there is this cool, uh, very cool uh, multitasking feature, dual panel. This is also very cool. Okay. I'm going to enable it. If I enable it, we have two file explorers side by side, two windows side by side. So I can open, let's say, you know, one folder here and I can drag and copy paste and all that. So it it is very good. You know, this feature is so cool. And uh, it also keeps the simplicity of Windows File Explorer. So these two features really big. And uh, performance wise, uh, when I used this on when it was on version one, uh, it was a little bit like laggy, buggy and all that. But now it is very fast, very responsive. And the best part is, which is not the best part yet. If we go to the settings of the files application and go to the experimental, we can actually set this files application as our default file explorer. But one thing you need to keep in mind here, which they also say here, if you set the a files application as a default file explorer, it will modify the registries. 
okay so if even if you uninstall the files application the registries will be there the changes will be there so you have to do it at your own risk so as of now this is an experiment so a lot of people are not going to play around with it okay so hope soon very soon i don't know when but hope soon uh, this will be a stable feature not experimental then you know people will i will switch to this file explorer without thinking you, you know just look at it it's so beautiful it has two cool features that is most needed in our file explorer uh, but they are not there one is new tab and the uh, dual panel the rest is just like our old friend windows file explorer yeah they are very identical but uh, files application has some extra features and it works the same as the windows file explorer that's all i want to say <laughs> this application is so well done it doesn't feel like this is an application okay it is just look at it okay if we compare this with windows file explorer which one do you think is the native file explorer design wise design perspective just think i think files application looks very good files application feels and looks like a native file explorer windows file explorer looks like a application that we just downloaded and files application looks like a native windows application and it fits with windows 11's design and all that so yeah it's very impressive that how well this application is made i know if we have seen the old files application i know it wasn't that good okay it was trying to be all fancy and all that but now it's it is fancy but it keeps the simplicity design icons everything just like we have in the windows file explorer it's simple but very good okay that's it i have talked too much if there is something new or if there is any problem after i'm using this as my default file explorer i will update you guys don't worry i will create a community post or even a video so don't worry about that so i'm doing it for you guys okay <laughs> actually i'm in love with this uh, application so yeah did i tell you guys this is a open source and free application no wow now i'm telling you you can get it from uh, microsoft store okay you can get it from here or from the official github page okay you can search for files github and easy peasy wow he also has this very cool notepad application oh but it costs money don't have money brother sorry <laughs> that's it <laughs> hope you enjoyed it guys i'm talking too much now so yeah those are my thoughts it's very good okay it will feel very pleasant to use this or maybe i'll have to go back i don't know that's it i will put link in the description for this application's official github page and also for the microsoft store link you can go there and get it and use it if you like it i mean you can keep it that's it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye